worrying is something I think everybody does to a certain extent. My mom made me promise her that I wouldn't worry when she, she was on her deathbed. I remember in the beginning, <clears throat> she passes, and I'm worried about everything. So what am I going to do? I would come down to my kitchen, and I would tip all the drawers over onto the floor. I'd go back and clean them and wipe them in because I couldn't have any downtime. If I had any downtime, I'd go from one worry to another 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 worry. To another worry. And when I got all that cleaned, if I started worrying about something, I'd go busy up my life. I'd fix something, start a car, call a client, just so I pushed it out of my head, out of my head. <clears throat> Took about four days, and I stopped worrying. Now I'd have to take a class to figure out how to worry. And what I've seen in my practice over 42 years, the people that worry extensively a lot, they die young. The people that worry and give it to God live a lot longer. The people that don't worry make it like the George Burton gentleman, like 100, 100, 510. Can you imagine? 